Hi everyone, today I wanted to make a video about how to make music for free and how to get started. I wanted to make it simple so I just want to show you how I did and what I went through so hopefully you will be able to later on move toward another software if you want. So let's dive in right now. Okay, so let's start with the software uh, called DAW, so D-A-W for Digital Audio Workstation. The one I use is called Reaper. Let's download Reaper. So you type Reaper on Google and you go to the Reaper website. Download Reaper and select the Reaper for your OS. So I use Windows. Let's download that. So once it's downloaded, you can install Reaper. And once you have installed Reaper, you can open Reaper. So when you open Reaper, you have a window like that. Um, so uh, actually, uh, since I bought Reaper, I don't have any window when I start Reaper. But if you didn't buy Reaper, you will start with a window. Um, and after five seconds, you should be able to click on OK. Uh, you will have a 30 days of trial. And actually, after that 30 days of trial, you will be able to uh, continue using it without paying anything. Uh, but since you know it's very cheap uh, software, I decided to buy it, and it's for me it's quite convenient and it's really cool. So okay, but for now uh, we have to download another thing. It's called ASIO for all. It's a driver. ASIO for all. So you type ASIO for all in Google, and then you go to the websites, and you download the latest version so this is the latest version I think you download that and you you install that driver okay so then you open Reaper again and in options preferences audio device and then you will have to um, check for audio system you will have to choose ASIO and as ASIO driver, you will choose ASIO for all. Then you should be okay. You'll... Okay, so at this point, I just wanted to notify you about something. Uh, if you want to pay for um, a piece of hardware, I advise you to buy what, I, what we call the Focusrite um, Home Studio. It's a little red box and it's an external uh, audio card. So this is the Focusrite home studio um, you have so you have the microphone you have the headphones and you also have this piece of hardware this is what I bought so if if you want to check that you can check on YouTube it's uh, quite a good piece of hardware and this is what I've been advised to buy actually all right so actually with that uh, software uh, called Reaper you can just start making music so for example if you um, Le uh, right click on this uh, part you can put insert a virtual instrument on new track then you can choose you can type synth actually when when you if you don't install other vsts so vst stands for virtual studio technologies if you don't install other vsts you just have the real things synth and so the first thing you have to be sure is that you uh, you arm track you track you won't hear anything so you arm the track and you have a MIDI keyboard either you can just click on view and virtual MIDI keyboard so then you can start to play notes and actually you have you know uh, the letters for each note. So if I press B or M or J M, you can play with your keyboard Or you have another way to compose and to program music um, by adding a MIDI track so you can select on top of here you can select uh, some you know some range of uh, bars you want to compose in item no on insert new midi item then you see 
there's a media item that appeared you double click on that and you have this window so this window is kind of a zoom of that MIDI track and actually you can you see this there is a piano roll over there on the left and you can you can play that or you can place the notes like you click and you drag actually and you, you see that when you drag you, you can modify the length of your notes uh, you can modify the notes and if you maintain control of, on, on your keyboard and you drag your note, you can copy the notes and change uh, the notes. You can make music like that actually if you want. By click and drag or by copy the notes with the control hold on on the keyboard. And that's it. You can, you can make music with, uh, in that way also. Um, so, you know, the way of composing and the way of using the software, I'm going to cover that in another video. So for now, just um, let's, let's see how we can implement other instruments in the software. So you can make electronic dance music, you can make symphonic music, you can make uh, any type of music you want. So let's check it out. Okay, so now let's say you want uh, other instrument in your uh, software. And the other instruments are called VSTs. So you have a lot of free VSTs on the internet. Let's check it out. One way to discover what you have is just to type free VSTs download on Google. And actually you have a lot of, a lot of them. You can just download them and, and see what you want. Actually, there's few of them I will advise you to download because they are quite good. So let's check it out. The first one is a synth VST. It's called Tune Fish. And it's actually good because you can customize a lot of stuff inside. So to download, you go to download and you download the synth. Let's unzip it. Actually, you can... You can put that file when wh where you want but what I advise you is to make a, a specific file for VSTs somewhere uh, you can find easily and you know that all your VSTs are in there so for, for, for example me I just created a VST plugins and I put the files inside that once you have uh, chosen a specific folder for your VSTs you go inside Reaper again options preferences and you go inside plugin VST and actually in edit path lists you can choose a path and you look for your, your file with all your VSTs and then you click rescan and rescan VST path for new plugins then OK so if you want to add that new VST now you um, right click on that part insert virtual instruments right click insert virtual instrument on new track and then you will have to choose so you will have to click on all plugins and in the filter search you type tune fish and you have tune fish so let's for now just click and drag the vst and then we have the vst it's tune fish so you can see it's already armed but I have two track armed, so I'm just going to enable this one. And then you will have it. You can choose. Okay, so you can you can play around and, and try different things. Uh, let's move on for now. Okay, so let's start a new project. Find new project. Um, I don't want to say that. And let's add a new VST. Let's select TuneFish. So let's imagine you want to compose uh, something very quick to start messing around, start playing around. So, okay, so actually with TuneFish 4, you can start to make some melodies and to make some 
uh, music uh, and to play around actually to mess around with the, the VST to see what you can do and to get familiar with the software so let's try to make a new uh, new music so we can right click on there insert a VST um, remember to click on all plugins write tune fish and then you click and drag you have this window so you remember you can compose by selecting a time range over there and to insert a new MIDI item double click on that and you can program all your notes or you can record yourself so let's delete that uh, in order to um, make that part disappear you just uh, press escape to start recording yourself either you have a MIDI keyboard or you can click on view and virtual MIDI keyboard so you can click on that button record click again on the virtual MIDI keyboard <laughs> And then stop and actually you saw that it recorded what you what you have composed actually so okay it's uh, obvious that it's easier when you have a keyboard so it's easier when you have a keyboard and if you want to pay for a piece of hardware for chip I advise you to buy this keyboard it's a Akai LPK 25 uh, it's quite cheap and actually it's quite convenient to compose uh, without paying actually so this one is great so one of the easiest way to compose and to make something that sounds um, good is to select the time range you want and then you insert a MIDI item and then um, you can you can select the metrum here and if you click on spacebar, you can hear the metronome playing. So this is a bit of music theory, but you have, uh, for this example, you have one, two, three, four, four bars, spacebar, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One bar is composed of four beats. Um, actually, it depends on the time signature uh, you can choose here it says 4-4 four, four, so uh, okay I won't go into detail right now but you have four bits in one uh, bar first you select on your TuneFish VST you can select the sound you want so I don't know let's try the echo bass if you are satisfied with that sound you can go with that you can go with that double click and then let's let's make something very simple. So actually it's a bass, so let's you can click on that magnet so it snaps to the grid. Actually it may it may be easier to compose with. So you can adjust the volume of your note. Uh, in your keyboard when you press home, you go again at the beginning of your track. So see, so you can put the note like that. And then if you want to copy, like, if you want to copy these notes and to make arpeggio, like, you can um, click on one, on these notes, hold uh, shift on your keyboard and click on that note. It will select the three notes. Then you hold the control button and you click and drag. You see, uh, I just press space space bar. I, I press space bar to play. Then let's say we want a another uh, to we want the arpeggio to go further. So select this one, hold shift, select the other one, hold control, and okay. So you see, I I so for my ear that note it's not right here so I just click on it and delete okay so this uh, area should be filled with that one you can 
copy that that also and then let's say we can we can change the 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 core so we can select these three and go down a, a bit let's copy them copy them delete that one so you can maybe you can hear that some of the notes are not on beats uh, because see you see that it's strictly divided and the notes are not starting on the beginning of the the time so we can just you can move the note to the beginning of each time like so it's a bit of arrangements okay so you hit the home button on the keyboard and you press spacebar Now we can hear that every note is on the beat, is on beat. So yes, so that's it. Um, okay, so le let's just copy that. So one thing you can do also is Control D, and when you hit Control D on, the, on your keyboard, it will um, copy all your notes selected to the next bar. So you see, so I just press Control Z and then Control D. So you see. So now we can close that. We have a nice uh, four bar. Click on home button. I can en enable enable the metronome. Okay, so it repeat because I click on toggle repeat. So as soon as it's finished, it, it goes to the beginning again. Okay. I press escape. Okay. So now, uh, let's say you, you are happy with that um, chord progression and you want to repeat that. So you see it's a media item, so you can, you can move that around. So the same thing for notes. You can press control on your keyboard and hold it and then you can drag and you will have another uh, item. And now let's say you want to compose a melody for that. Uh, what you can do is right click here, insert a new VST. You can look for Tunefish, click and drag. You have this window appearing, click on that so you disarm the first track and make sure that the second track is armed. And then, uh, so you see, you can press home button on the keyboard, you can toggle the repeat here. So when the song is finished, it's it's going again to the beginning. When playing your chord progression, you can see what instrument you like. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's try with that uh, saw instrument. So same thing, you can select the time range, you can make sure you have selected this track, the second one, insert, um, new MIDI item, double click. Um, if you have two screens, it's better to, uh, to put that in the other screen, but it doesn't matter if you don't have. Okay, then um, you can press the home button on your keyboard press space uh, bar so let's try to make a, a small melody for that Thank you. 
Okay, so actually the process of composing. Okay, so actually the process of composing music is uh, very in individual. Like uh, I think that every person has a certain way of uh, composing music. So, but I think if you want to start, you can just mess around with uh, the Tunefish Four. In you know you can on the the VST you can choose a lot of different things so actually they also have some uh, drums uh, have the like bass drums see it's so you also can make some drum uh, some beats actually and you can combine all the stuff and, and play around okay so um, now let's say okay just for the purpose of the video um, uh, let's so I select this time I press s so it will split I can select that part and copy that part so hold control click and drag so let's say you are happy with that music and then you can you want to make a mp3 file or wave file so you just um, go to file render and then you choose the directory uh, you can choose whatever you want uh, let's say I will put that on desktop choose a name test you can choose the format so actually the wave uh, format is uh, it's better I think I think it's better but you can you can have mp3 formats and then just render then when it's rendered you can show up in folder and so you see you, you have your mp3 uh, file and then you can uh, just show that and to your friend and to your family uh, so so that's it actually you know uh, there's a whole part of the music is uh, that is mixing and mixing is very another stuff so we'll talk about it later and yeah so I advise you just to um, go and compose stuff even if it's not uh, great for you uh, like you know it's not uh, you don't have to make perfect things you just have to mess around to play with the software to play with the notes and to see if you can um, so the first thing actually is to get familiar with the software and to know where each feature is and you know you, you can split item you can record your thing you can move notes so i hope it was useful for you and i i really recommend you to download any vst you want on the internet and to try to play around to mess around with notes and ready to ready to get used to the software and then you can move to the other step so i'm going to cover uh, other stuff uh, in the next video composing video uh, maybe you know um, composing electro dance music or composing orchestra music or composing video games music so i'll see uh, depending on the comments uh, so if you have an idea of if you have something you want uh, just comment uh, below i'll see what i do depending on uh, on that okay so see you next time and uh, take care